Hello guys and welcome to another video from your favorite broken English guy. And in today's video I will answer to your questions which you have asked me for my 1000 subscriber special video. And you guys have asked me almost 80 questions and that's a lot in my opinion. And some of the questions are very interesting. So I have talked enough and let's start with the first question. And the first question is very simple. So social exe's question is how is my favorite broken English guy doing. I would say that I'm currently a bit stressed because of some private stuff but apart from this I'm actually fine. Fraud Kunex has asked two questions. The first question is what will your content be based on when season 2 of Combat Master releases? I think it will be the same content as usual so I will for sure make weapon guides, also secret weapons, also reviews about the battle pass and also up upcoming bundles and maybe other crazy stuff. But it actually depends on the second season of Combat Master. I mean, we don't know exactly what will appear in the second season of Combat Master, so I can't really give you a clear answer on that. But like I said, it will be the same content as usual. And his second question is, what is your favorite anime? I have watched a lot of anime in the last five years, over 300 I guess, and none of them was as amazing as a Attack on Titan. I mean, of course, there are a lot of good anime, ReZero, Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer and so on, but for me, the number one is Attack on Titan. The next question is from Belila Mustafa, and the question is, in your opinion, will season 2 save Combat Master? And like I said before, it actually depends on the content of Combat Master. If we just get two guns and two maps, it will not be the content that we have expected, and I mean that in a negative way but if we will get level prestigious like in call of duty new game modes and new battle pass new bundles and just a bunch of new stuff i personally believe that this could revive combat master but i cannot see the future so i personally hope that the second season will revive combat master the next two questions are from assault rifle his first question is do you watch anime but i think the answer is clear yes i do watch anime and basically Basically, apart from normal YouTube videos, I only watch anime. I'm not very interested in live action movies or something like that. I don't know, they just don't catch me at all. And I always liked animated stuff. So that's maybe the reason why I like to watch anime. And his second question is, have you got touched by the useless oven? Yes, every Saturday night. And I really like it. The next question is from 44 Miganum. And the question is, do you have a niche hobby? I want to be honest. It is very difficult to say that something is a hobby or not. Our teachers told us in school that playing video games and hanging out with friends is not a hobby. At least it's not something relevant to mention in a job application. So if we consider that everything I do in my free time is a hobby, so then it will be basically going to the gym, hanging out with friends, playing video games and watching anime. And I'm also very interested in history and politics. So I really hope that the things what I have mentioned before are hobbies. The next question is from Tsunami. So the question is, what country do you live in? And I live in the beautiful German Bavaria. So yeah, I live in Germany. So this Austrian painter country. The next two questions are from Weaponry. So the first question is, what is the one game you hate? I don't really hate games, but I was forced to play a game I really didn't like. And that was Dota 2. I really didn't like this game. And the second question is, how often do you play x -Defined? Not that often to be honest, but currently more than Combat Master. Next question is from Terra Lord, and his question is, what languages do you speak other than English? Apart from English, I speak German and also Russian. I'm not 100% German, I mean my great-grandfather was German, but the majority of my ancestors were Russians and Ukrainians. And even if I'm a citizen, of the Federal Republic of Germany, I consider myself more as a Russian or just a Slavic dude. The next five questions are from Ayush Singh. The first question is, which is your favorite Call of Duty and why? And I am 100% sure that I will get cancelled for that what I will say now. 
If we talk about the Call of Duty campaigns, my first Call of Duty I have ever played was Call of Duty 2 and Call of Duty 3 and that was in 2007 or 2008. And because of that Call of Duty was more or less for me a World War 2 story campaign shooter. So I haven't known about this multiplayer stuff before I have started to play Call of Duty Ghosts and that was in 2015. But I haven't played the multiplayer of Ghosts that much because I have get Black Ops 3 in 2016. It was one month before Infinite Warfare came out and this was basically my first actual multiplayer Call of Duty game. So a Call of Duty where I have actually grinded the multiplayer mode. So you can consider me as a new school Call of Duty player. So I have never seen the prime time of Call of Duty so in Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 2 but I have played these games and also the multiplayer and I have basically played almost every Call of Duty apart from World at War, Modern Warfare 2 2022, Modern Warfare 3 2023 and at Advanced Warfare. So and now I will finish the background story and get back to the question. My top 3 Call of Duties are Modern Warfare 2019 together with Warzone, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 4. Please don't cancel me for that, but for me I had the best time in these games if we talk about Call of Duty. The second question is, do you have any plan to buy Black Ops 6 or at least play its beta? I am 100% sure that this time I will buy this Call of Duty, because I haven't bought the last 3 Call of Duties. The third question is, if DMZ comes to Combat Master, then which will be your first choice? Combat Zone or DMZ. If you don't know what DMZ is, it is basically the Call of Duty ripoff of Escape from Tarkov. And to be honest, I really like DMZ and I also really liked Escape from Tarkov. All in one, I really like the concept of extraction shooters and I'm 100% sure that if we will get a DMZ-like mode in Combat Master, I will 100% play this game mode. And I would probably play this game mode more than Combat Zone. So my choice will be DMZ. In every video you show your multiplayer gameplay. So do you love multiplayer more than Combat Zone or you are also broken in Combat Zone and have zero wins to show it in video? The main reason for me to not play Combat Zone is because it's very boring and we have literal bots in our lobbies. And I'm not talking about very bad players, I mean actual bots. And this is just what kills this whole battle royal wipe for me. So I really don't like Combat Zone at all. The next question is, do you have any plan to join CM Esports? No, currently not. I'm not very interested in esports at all. And the last question is, in which country do you live? So like I said before, I live in Germany. The next two questions are from Soviet Polski. His first question is, how many fingers do you have? So like a normal person, I have 46 fingers. And his second question is, will you be my girlfriend? If you have seen my pronouns on Discord, I'm a BTR80. So I can't be your girlfriend because I don't don't identify myself as a woman. So if you want me to be your BTR80 friend, just invite me to a dinner and I will think about that. The next question is from Mohammed Klam. So his first question is, how much time did you invest in Combat Master ever since it came out? So I have started to play Combat Master in June 2023. And if we take a look at my Steam profile, you can see that I have over 120 hours of playtime. So I don't think that I have invested that much time in combat master. The next question is from the useless oven and his question is when is the only fans releasing? Don't worry my friend it will happen very soon my feed picks are ready. The next question is from just Simon and his question is what is your girl type? Like every generation Z boy I would say a golf girl but seriously I do not have a specific woman type so I think as long as she looks good for me and has a nice personality that's enough for me. The next two questions are from SSJ Soul Games and his first question is how old are you Mr. Trauma? And I just turned 21 a couple days ago. So yes, I'm not 16 and not 35. I'm 21 
years old. And his second question is, when are you gonna post community loadout videos again? Don't worry, I'm planning to do community loadouts again and I have get enough loadouts to make a 30 minute video. So probably I will do this 30 minute video, but I'm currently very busy and I just need more time. So and this was the last question for this video. I have decided to split the Q&A video into two parts because it's not possible for me to finish the edit in time. I also think that this video will probably drop on Sunday instead of Saturday, but we will see. I'm planning to drop the next part also on Friday or Saturday and if I'm late again, I will drop it on Sunday. So stay tuned for the next part of the Q&A, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and I will see you in the next video.